Hey, Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Please keep in mind that the messages um, or anything like that could be interchangeable or vice versa. And also that this could be something happening now in the near future or the future. So the readings are timeless, my loves. And, you know, if you find that it doesn't resonate, that's fine. You might want to check out your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. Um, or, I mean, right, just... Find that video, right? Just let it fly. <laughs> Just let it fly. It's cool if it doesn't resonate. It's not supposed to resonate for every single, um, you know, person in the world. So, but let's get it started. So, Angel Spirit, White Light, who or what coming towards Scorpio Collective in love, please. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Please tap me into their higher selves. Or what's coming towards Scorpio in love? Last shuffle. All right. All right, my loves. Bottom of the deck, you have obstacle ahead. Who are what's coming towards Scorpio in love, please? Who are what's coming towards the Scorpio collective in love? Or what's coming towards the Scorpio collective in love? Scorpio. Ooh. All right, Scorpio. So you have marriage. Okay. Attached. You have past life connection. Who or what's coming towards Scorpio in love, please? One more card spirit for Scorpio. Thank you. Oh, and then you have I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, boy. Someone got a lot of sorries for you. Bottom of the deck is determination. Hopes and wishes. Okay. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Libra. Or this could be someone that you're married to, right? Or someone shit that you were married to. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Who or what's coming towards Scorpio spirit in love? Who or what's coming towards Scorpio in love? Ooh. You could be done with a Libra. Possibly another Scorpio. Ooh, what's that like? Two damn Scorpios. What is that like? <laughs> Could be dealing with a Pisces, right? Or maybe even a, um, a Cancer. So let's come into a Scorpio in love, please, Scorpio. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. So let's come into a Scorpio in love. Yeah. You know what, Scorpio? It looks like the motherfucker that you are dealing with, um, they're attached. I feel like this person's married, whether you know that or not. So what's coming towards Scorpio in love? Wow. And this could be causing chaos and problems between you and this person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. What is going on, Scorpio? For some of you, this could be someone that you were uh, married to, currently or not, right? And um, you found out this person is dealing with others or has, has you involved in like a third party situation. That's what it looks like. For some of you, just like, nah, I'm good. You got a divorce. <laughs> For some of you, um, this is not your situation. This is the person you're dealing with situation. It looks like they're in a relationship that they feel trapped in or they just feel like it um, is full of conflict, fighting, arguing. This is clearly not who they want to be with, it seems. <sighs> Could be waiting for this person to get a divorce or to separate from this person. Maybe that's what you're hoping for, for some of you. Not all of you. I don't speak for all of you. Um, but clearly, you want something to change. I was seeing a devil. For some of them, they could be in like a karmic relationship. Or maybe this is your relationship. And you're with like a karmic partner. Why is judgment here, please? It's like a need to make a decision, right? Judgment, four of cups. It's like you made a final decision. For some of you, if this is your partner that's doing this shit, you made a final decision on this motherfucker. And you're like, you know what? I caught you in a lie. 
and I'm good. I don't want you. Three of Wands, yeah, I'm good. I don't want you. <laughs> I'm good on that. Poor, what is this? King of Cups coming towards Scorpio and love. I am well be dealing with another water sign. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands in reverse again. So it looks like this King of Cups could be a Libra, could be Scorpio, could be any other water sign, but I really read this as Libra or Scorpio, okay? Um, it looks like this person, this, 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 this individual is trapped in something. They're in something that's not so happy. Okay. It's different for everyone. Let's clarify the king, sorry, the queen of pentacles. But for some of you, you can feel like you share a past life connection with this person. And you don't know why you just can't stop dealing with them. Even if they are fucking married, it's almost like you feel like something very, um, past life to this person. And it's almost like you know that this person is, um, for some of you, you can know that this person's in something that's toxic um, and that's a burden for them. You know that. And you guys want to be together, but someone just needs to initiate that divorce or separate, do whatever the hell they got to do. Because someone's feeling like trapped or I don't know who it is. Could be Scorpio, could be the person, could be the person's situation. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Someone's in something that is just uh, a mess. So someone needs to remove the blindfold from their eyes and see a situation for what it is, an unhappy situation. It's an unhappy situation. So someone could be in a loveless marriage or a loveless um, relationship. Something that's just not working out. So Scorpio, if you are dealing with somebody who's involved... Uh, this person definitely doesn't love that person. They're definitely not, um, it's almost like this person's settling. But there's a lot of conflict going on in that, in that relationship, in that marriage. Let's clarify the five of wands, please. Tell me this is someone, maybe an ex-husband or maybe just someone you were, you were in a relationship who did this to you that's coming back. Yeah, so someone found out that the other person was juggling. Huh. Let's clarify the King of Swords. You have two kings here. So there could definitely be um, a second man, a second woman. Could be an air sign involved in this situation. It's two people coming towards you possibly for some of you. Page of Swords in reverse, but I'm really feeling like this King of Swords is someone who, um, this is about someone who's married. The King of Swords usually comes up for married couples, people who are married. And this person was keeping this a secret. For some of you, they were keeping a secret. For some of you, you know that, okay? <laughs> it's different for everyone. So, let's see. Why is this person coming towards you? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> Angels, um, tell me more about the situation. Why is this person or the situation coming towards Scorpio in love? Why is this person coming towards Scorpio in love? Why? Wow, is this is someone that you caught in a lie. Yeah, you caught this motherfucker in a lie. For some of you, this is someone um, who wants to come clean to you. Maybe you didn't know that. Or this could be your partner. They want to come clean to you. Something that they've been hiding or keeping a secret. They want to come clean to you. For others of you, um, this is somebody that maybe you could be dealing with and you suspect that they're married or that they're dealing with a situation like this and they're coming to be honest with you and to keep um, to come clean about that. Because the seven of swords in reverse is like someone being caught or someone coming clean. Obviously, if it's the latter, you know, you're not going to be happy to hear this news, right? That they're still attached and shit. Obviously, that's not something you would want to hear, but it's what it's showing. Remember, you know, we as tarot readers, we can't control what comes out the cards. So whatever situation comes out, comes out. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the reverse? Why is this person coming towards Scorpio in love? Why is the Seven of Swords in the reverse? <clears throat> so, it seems like this person's been thinking. Six of Swords in reverse. 
Uh, so this person, um, for some of you, like I said, this person, they, they, you kicked them out or you stopped dealing with this person. You moved away from them because you found out that they were being deceptive and that they were lying. You caught them in a lie. And um, it looks like after some period of thinking or separation from you, this person wants to heal the situation. Three of Swords in Reverse, they want to get back together. But this time, they want to do things right with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is that trustworthy energy. So this person wants to uh, maybe turn over a new leaf. This is why I'm sorry is here. Clarify the Hermit. You guys don't have to take them back. I don't tell anyone to take them back, right? But that's just what I'm seeing here. Strength could be a Leo. This person was holding something from you. Temperance in reverse. But if this is someone you're no longer dealing with, this is someone who's definitely uh, not feeling too well. Right? Because they know they fucked up. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Eight of Wands. Full in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. <sighs> yeah. This is somebody who was playing games. And they really thought that, well, at the time, they really took, this is someone who really took you for a fucking fool. That's if they never told you, if you don't know, right? So that's what I'm saying. Someone's coming back. This is your story. This motherfucker's coming back, and they're going to apologize. They want. They're going to apologize to you. So it's up to you whether you're going to take them back or not. But by the looks of it, you might not want anything to do with this person because you have the four of cups. <laughs> Period. So... Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in. I love you all very, very much. And I will see you guys next time.